I'm so excited for kids to flip through PBS Kids and and see Alma and say, Mira, Mira, let's watch let's watch that show. And already, kids, uh, my sources tell me, kids are saying, uh, Oh, look, she looks like me. I felt when I was on first on Sesame Street, I thought, Oh, I wish this was around when I was little because I was looking at Father Knows Best wondering where I was in that scenario. And I think I was successful on that show because I never forgot myself not seeing people like me on television. So I hope that people will certainly be relieved that they're seeing people like themselves on television. And PBS asked me to create a show with a Latin family, and I made it more specific and made it a Puerto Rican family who lives in the Bronx, because that's where I'm from. I'm Puerto Rican or New Yorkian, and I was raised in the Bronx. And I thought it was the perfect setting for an animated children's show. Most of the characters are based on people that I know on my family. There's a character that I'm very proud of named Eddie Mambo, who has cerebral palsy, and he's based on my real cousin, Eddie Guagua Rivera, and this kid named Dennis who had polio when I was a kid. And he just loved to mambo. And I think that Alma is really me as a little girl, only she's a much nicer kid. Am I good or what? I noticed that a lot of kids are under a lot of stress in schools. They think school is memorizing. There's a lot of people in the classroom. Maybe they don't speak English. Anyway, they were turned off to the concept of thinking even before they realized the joys of thinking. So I said, you know, let me do a show that uh, highlights the process of thinking so that kids know everybody has a mind and everybody can use their own mind. And it's not about information or memorization. We can all get information from the internet. It's what you do with that information. I gotta find Abuelo's lucky sock or else Jojo can't spend the night with me. I gotta think about this. It gives me an enormous sense of pride that hopefully many generations will be watching Alma's Way. I hope that their interest happens after the show is over, that they start thinking about what Alma did and was that a good choice and how they would manage being in a similar situation. You know, we've come a long way with Latino programming and, and Latino stories, and I hope that this is the tip of the iceberg. I don't want to be the only one anymore.